Hello and welcome to the 44th video in this series, Programming Chess Engine in C. So in this video we're going to finally write our perfed move generation testing function. And I've written a very skeleton version of this function, so we just put some a couple of positions in and have a look at the results. So in perf.c, add stdio.h, and I'm going to paste in the perfed function here. And I'm also going to top of the file quickly do something very bad which is add a variable visible for this file only called leaf nodes and let's have a look at the normal perf function there's another one we'll add on at the bottom called perf test which is for the root position but let's just look at how this is working so if we think that we've got this position here and we want to do a perf test to depth 3 then depth is 3 at this position and we generate two moves and then we make the first move and call perf again but with depth minus one so depth is now two then we generate the two legal moves and we make the first move so this one and call perf with depth minus one so depth is now one so we make our two moves and make the first move and call perf again with depth minus one and this time depth is zero and at the start of perf we say if the depth is zero then increment the leaf count and return so we would then return to here with the leaf count incremented and then this move would be made and depth will go back to zero and we come back here and back here with depth two and depth back to one and depth to zero and so on and so on and that's how basically we tra traverse then the entire tree so how that's done in code you can see here we call perf and we say if depth is zero don't do anything, increment the leaf nodes and return. Otherwise, make a move list and generate all the moves for this position. Then loop through all of the moves in the position, ignoring the illegal moves here. And then call perf again with depth minus one. So like I said, if we originally called it with depth three, we will keep calling perf and the depth will be decreased by one each time until it was zero and we increment the leaf nodes. So that should be fairly self-explanatory. It's just a recursive function that calls itself again and again. And when depth is zero, we return. Then we take the move and go to the next one. When the move list is exhausted, we return again and so on. So in this situation, we make this move, then it's zero, so we return. This move, then it's zero, we return. The moves are exhausted. We go back to here, try this move, this one, this one. They come to zero, it's exhausted. He's exhausted all his moves. We go back to here and try this move and go down here and to here and so on like that until the whole tree has been completed and we've counted all of these leaf nodes here so the only thing I want to do is we could encompass all of this in just one perf function like this but one thing I like to do is something called a divide perf which is for each root move made in the position is to show for each of those moves the number of leaf nodes for each individual move and I'll explain why when we have put the function in so I've called the function perf test and it's basically a mirror image of the function above but I didn't want lots of if depth is root depth stuff in here and we take in the depth we want to search and our position we print the board and then say to the screen we're starting the test to given depth we reset leaf nodes to zero generate all our moves for the root position and now what we do here is we simply create a cumulative nodes variable on each loop and simply main use that to get the count of the number of leaf nodes searched on the previous move and print those to screen and then at the end we print the complete test result to the screen and here you can see we call the perf function with depth minus one here so that should be fairly self-explanatory to read. I've gone through it quickly because I want to get in this video round two showing you how the perf test then works result-wise. So if you haven't got this in quickly enough, then I'll leave it now a couple of seconds on the screen, but you can download the code anyway. Again, this isn't the most, it's, it's important for debugging the move generator, but otherwise has no influence on the rest of the engine. And that's the bottom of the function here. OK, so let's save that and go into defs.h, and I think I've already added in defs.h perf test. Yes, I have. The only thing now is to go into vice, and you can see here I've already got prepared, passing the start fen and running perf test to 3. Now, if we go into our perf suite epd, we can see 
that at depth 3 we should be searching 8902 leaf nodes. So if I just type make and now type vice to run and now you can see there what's happened is in this position starting to depth 3 and it's telling us for each of the root moves so A2, A3, A2, A4 etc how many positions leaf nodes each of these search and you can see that we visited 8902 this should say leaf nodes not loads but it doesn't matter for now so now let's have a look then at depth 4 it should be 197,281 so let's have a 4 here and save and let's make and run. And now you can see it's running a bit slower because it's got a lot more nodes to search. And you can see indeed it's visited 197,281 nodes. So we can be fairly confident already that things are looking good with the move generator. Now let's go to defs.h and take out the debug because it's slowing things down a lot. And now if I save that and make and now rerun this position, you can see instantly it's searched in the blink of an eye, 200,000 positions essentially. So if I now make this depth 5, we should get 4,865,609 mil 4, 4, positions searched. So let's make this depth 5. Whoops, cancel depth 5 and save. And now run make and run vice again. And even with the camera recording, it's still in, I would say, just over a second, done the 4.8 million positions. And of course, we're compiling here without optimizations. When we do that, we'll actually get at least a doubling of speed. So this program, even on my old dual core here, or du core, du uh, core 2 Duo, is searching on one processor already around, probably with optimizations, around 4 million positions a second, which isn't bad. So we got the, exactly the result of nodes that we required at that depth. So let's just, for one more thing to do in this video, let's take this position here, which is a legendary tricky position, and put this into here. This might even still be the same position here. And substitute the perf FDN here with for the start FEN. We won't go to depth 5 here, because if I remember correctly, depth 5 is around 196 million positions. 193. Let's go to depth 4, first of all, and see what kind of result we get. Remember we've got the de debugging turned off. So it runs through depth 4 and we've got 4085603 which is exactly what we needed to have at depth 4. And let's run this then to depth 3 but with debugging turned on. and we get 97862. So we get the perfect results also at depth 3. And the reason I like it with debugging turned on of course is because of each of the positions here visited we've had the checkboard function running multiple times. So we can safely say that the move generator is working and in fact if you want the code send me a message or a comment but I actually if I find the relevant folder here here in this perfed file I actually wrote in the functions required to pass in this entire file and I ran through all of these positions I left it running in debug mode at depth 5 and it took a long long time and in non debug mode to depth 6 and it had the all 126 positions it was exactly correct so I'm pretty much 100% confident that the move generation and make and unmake is bug free okay so that's it for this video. There's one more thing on my mind that I said I was going to discuss and I can't for the life of me remember what it is earlier on in the video to do with perf. Nope, it's gone. Okay. So that's it for this video. We've hit a real milestone in the chess engine. We now have an engine that can make and unmake moves. And the next step is now to start implementing actually the search for the engine. And for that we'll be using something called alpha beta searching which I'll start explaining how that works in the next video. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.